Hello. This is Bella. God bless you guys. All the saints out there. Um, I'm just led to... I'm taking a walk right now to the donut shop. And... I'm led to put out a message. Maybe it's for somebody out there. I was led in the spirit to talk about and this is a little, uh, my testimony a bit is when i was younger you know like a lot of, of you folks i was physically abused by my dad and uh i mean i i'm all for discipline but he was past that part so anyways i didn't growing up so because of that I got hurt and I kind of got astray a little bit, but God kind of brought me around and gave me trails to find him, and I did, because he knocked on my door, and I went looking for him, and um, I don't let that define me as a person, like a lot of people, and everybody's different, okay, so I don't want to offend anybody, but... I think that we get we have to we're on different walks in our life, our spiritual walks with Jesus, and that you know it's up to that person, you know, who what God has set up as far as their trial or what they're going through. But I know this, my trial, and I go through them periodically, you know. And I say that it's like spiritual warfare, you know. I get my good amount, but you know, I'm going to tell you, it makes me a warrior. That's for sure. God bless for G, you know, God bless Jesus. Cause even though sometimes I feel like I'm just going to lose it and I'm sit there and I pray and I tell the Lord, man, I can't take this. Please Lord help me. And I'll be all praying and asking for help. I still get past it, get past that little test and and then get to the next test, you know, and I'm always being tested and refined and defined and but I don't let being a victim define me as a human being. And there's a I bring this up because there's this one gal where she's you know, her family are heroin addicts and they abused her and then CPS took her away when she's little. And um, when she came, you know, she, a lot of people know that when you go, you're young and you go into those places, they rape you and do stuff to you. They beat you. Um, so it's not an easy ride, especially in detention centers or anything to do with CPS sometimes. And not all of it. But here in where I'm at in California, and I'm sure it, it happens. But instead of raising above it and uh, taking that... You know, and you know, iron, you know, sharpens iron. She stays in that victimhood mentality, never being able to progress forward. And, you know, you just have to handle your business, go to therapy and do what you got to do to, or, you know, really focus on Jesus to heal you. And then you'll get over it and chalk it up as an experience and and learn from it and not go back to that you know just feel like it's the oven you know you don't put your hand over there on the fire because it's going to get burned and you know you back away and you never put your hand back on that fire but some people just don't learn you know like uh, another friend of mine his mom died instead of taking the inheritance he got and invested it and then doing something like a memorial for his mom or just doing something to heal himself he falls into drugs and loses his all inheritance, you know, and, and we want to remain in that victimhood mentality. And we are so above that when we're children of God, because God's got a lot planned for us. But we need to know that in our heart and not stay in things that God is trying to reveal to you, remove, and then here you go recycling it back. You need to discern what when you do that. And, and understand that maybe, you know, God's trying to remove some object that ain't good for you. And he's revealing it to you. Just remember all the three R's. Revealing, removed, then don't recycle it back. 
you know, move forward because God's probably got a better person, a better situation, a better state. He don't know. He took me out of California. I'm here. I'm stuck right here in California. I'm going to tell you, it is oppression city. I mean, the it is so thick out here. It's like being in Louisiana as far as all the, you know, all the, you know, stuff that goes on behind closed doors. Okay. There's a lot of it here. And, you know, I know that for the realty companies here, but I am feeling it on me. It's like everything I'm trying to do, I can't move forward. So I know something's going on in the spiritual. So I'm going to have to really pray about this and ask him to, you know, repent. Um, I had some people that come in my house in California and ruin it, some squatters. So I, I have just evicted everybody. So I'm handling it when I could be at my home state having a, you know, <laughs> enjoying all my people, the people that voted and supported me that made me win the November election in City Hall. You guys, you know, when I came to this country, my parents didn't have very much money. And I lived in the projects in East Los Angeles, didn't even know how to speak English. You know, I had to learn, but I, I used to get beat up. My money was stolen. You know, I raised a, I ri I raised above, because the Lord, our Heavenly Father has something better for you out there, and I'm here to tell you that, and that's my testimony, all right? Well, God bless you guys. I keep me in your prayers. Release me out of these oppression, you know, witchcraft and whatever nonsense is out here. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, this. It's like most a lot of illegal aliens up here, and they, there's a lot of witches because they call them brujas. I'm, you know, in a Latina descent but it's really hard to explain to somebody who's not very spiritual but when you live down here you see it but anyways god bless you have a great day bye